Hi, my name is Christina and this is how to remove serger stitching. There's a right way and a wrong way to remove serger stitching. Making sure you know the right way to do it will save you lots of time and frustration. For this, we're going to need a seam ripper. First, what we're going to do when looking at our serger stitching, we're going to top, start at the top horizontal stitch. You're going to see that the, the loops are next to each other. You want to take your seam ripper and pass it underneath the thread right in between the two loops and cut it. I'm going to go down a few stitches and do the exact same thing, find in between the loops, cut it, and we're going to just gently grab that thread until we have a tail. And pull, and it came right out. You see your loose loops here? Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. We're going to find that horizontal stitch. Cut it, go down, and cut it, pull out your horizontal stitch, and all of your loops will just come right off. Knowing how to do this is going to save you a lot of frustration. Cutting it the wrong way is going to cause it to bunch and knot, but cutting the right way means that it will slide right off. Thanks for watching.